Alright everybody, now today in this video we're going to be going over the SML movie, The Food Monster. Um, well, first of all, what am I staring at here? Um, well, this definitely looks like a monstrosity to me. I mean, that definitely. And it also looks like it's a recipe for diabetes. That's that's another thing. Um, cause, cause what, what the hell, Chef Pee Pee? Uh, <laughs> I can... <laughs> I can only imagine. Uh, I don't even want to imagine. Anyway, um, if you guys are going to enjoy, please drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel as always, and uh, without further ado, guys, let's get right on to it. Here we go. Mm -mm -mm, my junk food jambalaya is almost ready. Oh, it smells so delicious. Oh, oh my God. Oh, I got to go to the bathroom. But first, I need to add one more ingredient, the olive oil. <laughs> let's sauce it up, baby. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Olive oil on the. No, no. No, dude, no. Alright, I need to go to the bathroom. Wow. Dude, dude. Um. Logan, just keep in mind. That thing's gonna drip all over the house. Um, that that just doesn't look fun to film. Yeah, it really doesn't. Hey guys, my tummy's ready for some din din. What the hell is din din? You know din din like dinner. Dude, are you two years old? Guys, calm down. Chef Pee Pee will be done cooking dinner soon. Well, what's he cooking? Cause my tummy's ready for some din din. Isn't that right, tummy? Yeah, Cody, I want some din din. Dude, if you say din din one more time, your ass is done done. Ah! Why am I alive? Is that a food monster? <laughs> What the hell was that, Jimmy? <laughs> I was trying to distract him. Good thinking, dude. Maybe it's a food zombie, and we got to eat him before he spreads. Yeah, let's eat him. Wait, don't eat him. What if it's a kid and Sheppy was trying to cook him, and maybe all that food got burned onto his skin when he was in the oven before he escaped? Dude, what? that's a dark turn. We're kids. Wait, so Sheppy be trying to cook kids? Well, why else would food be alive? Help me! Oh, he's saying help me. Only a kid would say help me. Wait, hold on. Where are you from? The kitchen. Chef Pee Pee's from the kitchen. Yeah, so it's food. I need to cook it kids. Oh, no, we have to call the cops. Poor Chef Pee Pee, but he has to go to jail for his crimes. Trying to cook a kid. What's wrong with him? Okay. Cody, go call the cops. Okay, yeah. Okay, this is like the most crazy accusation I've ever seen, but sure. Okay, get my phone. <laughs> Whatever gets the plot rolling, eh? Okay, Junior, get my phone. Um, he's eating your doll, dude. <laughs> Joseph, stop him. Cody, no. Joseph, please. Cody, shut up. Junior, don't do this, stop him. Junior, I don't care. I'm still gonna watch. Cody, just call 911. Oh, yeah. Yo, 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 911. What's your emergency? Yeah, hey, sorry, I'm just trying to liven things up here. This job can get really depressing, you know, listening to people's emergencies all the time. Like, the last call I got was about this guy who killed his whole family, and then he shot himself on the phone, so I'm really hoping this call's gonna be happier. Oh, well, we got a chef that's cooking kids. But, really? He's he's cooking kids? Yeah, alive. Oh. <laughs> this is the most depressing phone call I've ever seen. <laughs> Are you sure? Like, this isn't a prank or anything? No, he's really doing it. Well, can you prove it? I don't even want to believe you. This sucks. Well, I guess you could talk to the cooked kid. Uh, yeah, let me do that. Help me! Yeah, yeah, that sounds like a half-cooked kid. Damn it. Okay, we're coming. All right, Junior, the police are on their way. What? There they are. They're here. All right, child cooker, we have the place around it, so freeze and come out with your hands up. How can he come outside if he's frozen? Oh, that's a good point, Simmons. I didn't think about that. Uh, uh, okay, so uh, unfreeze, and then put your hands up, and then come outside and freeze again. Well, how can you open the door if his hands are up? Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, uh, okay, okay. Uh, forget all that, uh, okay? So I, so I want you to unfreeze, and then come outside, and then close the door, because we don't want bugs getting in the house. And then put your hands up, and then freeze again. Oh, yeah, bugs. That sounds Simmons. That was good, mate. Okay, uh, yeah, okay, so just do all that. I don't think he's coming out. Well, maybe he got confused and he thought he was still supposed to freeze inside. Well, let's just go in and get it. Hold on, we're, we're coming, we're getting you. What the hell? Who's at the door? Freeze! What? I, I will unfreeze and then put your hands up and then freeze! Uh, that, that's so confusing! Just get the hell on the ground! Ah! Ah! All right, kids, we arrested your chef. Ugh, why am I being arrested? Because you've been cooking kids while they're alive. Junior, why are you lying to the cops? I didn't cook a damn kid. If you didn't cook a kid, then what's that? Ah! Uh, what the hell? I don't know what that is. Well, it's obviously a kid that you cooked with a bunch of food. Oh, no, I didn't cook a damn kid. How many times do I have to say that? Okay, well, let's ask him. Are you a kid that he cooked? He created me, Dad! Oh my uh, god. <laughs> he did create you, but 
Yeah, I don't really know. I'm so confused. I'm well, I'm not confused, but I just don't really know what to think about this. I'm not you gonna lie. Your own kid, you sick bastard. Well, I mean, I guess that's better than cooking somebody else's kid. I mean, if he's yours, I guess you could still. No, no, cooking kid is definitely wrong. He's not my kid, and I didn't cook his ass. Huh. Simmons, have there been any kids reported missing today? Not today, Mike. Really, not in the whole world. Nope. Wow, it is a good day to be a kid. We are doing really good. Well, I guess if there's no missing kids, then it can't be a kid. Is Unless he's your kid! What the- No, he's not my kid! Huh, okay, well, I mean, I guess it's just some kind of food monster. And as much as I'd love to stick around and figure out what that's all about, I'm sure you guys will just call me later, so you're free to go. Hey, Mike, can I have one of his marshmallows? No! Yeah! <laughs> Simmons, just leave the freak alone. What the hell is this? So, Chef Pee Pee, what is that thing? I don't know. Well, what were you cooking downstairs? My world famous junk food jambalaya. But what were the ingredients? Well, you have marshmallows, Oreos, Cheerios. But well, that's all stuff that's on the food. Yeah. Uh <laughs> Bro, this guy's gonna look like a clown if he gives out his entire recipe. Like, oh my goodness. Food monster, keep going with the ingredients. Skittles, cheeses, olive oil. What, olive oil? Are you sure you didn't use a live oil? What the hell is a live oil? I use olive oh. oil. Oh. Go get the bottle. Let me see. Okay. Cody, you're right. It's a live oil. Yeah, live oil is just like olive oil, but it makes food come alive. My mom accidentally used this on some lasagna one time, and it wouldn't leave me alone for a week. We had to hire Garfield to eat his ass. Who the hell? Would That's pretty that creative. Is? I don't know, but it's extra virgin olive oil, so he's gonna be really horny. I'm saving myself for marriage. Wait, wait, wait. So this is really my creation of my son? Well, yeah, but I mean, we can eat him if you don't want him. He looks pretty tasty. Hell no, you're not eating my son. Oh, he's gonna be a big basketball player when he grows up. I'm about to go and buy some basketball. That is so racist. Th th that that is just insane, bro. What? Yeah, because that's what I think when I look at that NBA All Star Conehead McGee. Oh, I like that name, <laughs> Conehead McGee. Do you like that name? <laughs> Javel yeah, McGee. Hungry, Cody, do you have that free medium French fries you get every week? Well, yeah, of course. Go grab your French fries. Let's feed them. Okay. <sighs> Jesus. Okay, I got the French fries. Okay, feed him a fry. Okay, here you go. <clears throat> eat it. <clears throat> Come on, eat it. <clears throat> eat it. Eat it. Shove it in his mouth. Oh, Junior, isn't this kind of like forced cannibalism because he's made of food and we're making him eat food? Yes, he's right, dude. This is wrong. Well, we're humans and we eat food, so then what does food eat? Humans. Oh. Uh-oh, there's the problem. If you were wondering Yo, that was actually crazy. This video is not very funny, but I kind of like the plot, I can't lie. Yo, okay, that, that, was, that was really cool. Like the way he said... Humans. I don't know. I like that scene. Is, there it is. Dude, we gotta eat him first. It's a doggy dog world. It is a doggy dog world. It's a dog eat dog world. What? No, it's doggy dog world. No, it's dog eat dog. Like, like it's brutal. Dog eat dog. Dogs don't eat other dogs. Unless you're Michael Vick. Dude, that's not what happened, but okay. Yeah, he made them fight and made them eat each other. Guys, yeah. let's not get into this right now. Let's just try to figure out how to get this monster to not eat us. Okay, well, we're not gonna eat him. I think we can train this food monster to not want to eat humans. Because I know another monster that used to eat humans and doesn't do it anymore. The fact that you know a monster. Come on, guys, follow me. Come on, Conehead McGee. Okay, guys. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it was Cookie Monster, bro. Cookie Monster didn't used to eat people. Oh yes, me did. Me used to eat all parts of people. Me used to eat arms, legs, head, nose. No, literally, that's all I was thinking. I was thinking it was Cookie Monster, but I'm like, okay, well, that's kind of weird since. I don't think Cookie Monster's eating any kids, but or any like people or anything like that. So I was like, I was kind of skeptical, but I knew it was Cookie Monster. I just, I, I just didn't say anything. Me even eat the booty. Oh, okay. Well, how did you stop Cookie Monster? Me found God and cookies, and me found my Savior, Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, okay. Well, I, I'm really glad you could do that, Cookie Monster. That's really nice. And sometimes when me eat cookie, me think of how the bone crunch from human. See, listen. Sound just like this crunch of human child head. Y yeah. Oh, wow. I guess, it, I guess it might sound like that. Yeah. And and sometimes sometime when me dream me dream about when I ate family of six in Utah. They were camping and I ate the mother. And All right. This is just like, this is just a lot of, like, <laughs> let's get to the point, yes, man. I cut her head off and drink her blood. And and sometimes I think her head sound like this. Okay, well, I'm really glad you don't do that anymore, Cookie Monster. Ooh, ooh, and and, and sometimes, sometimes me think about how human flesh is sweeter than cookie. Okay, well, we have a monster here that doesn't want to eat humans anymore, so can he have some of your cookies? No! My cookies! Find your own! Okay, 
Well, that was a waste of time. Yeah, let's go figure out something else. Yeah. Okay, Junior. We need to figure out something this monster can eat that's not humans, because if he gets a taste for human flesh, it's over. Well, how about we ask him what he'd want besides humans? Hey, Conehead. <laughs> that was good. Oh, my God, he ate Joseph. Oh, my God, what are we going to do? Damn, I didn't even notice. That's actually crazy. That is insane. Okay. Well, uh, I mean, he's gone, so that's that's definitely interesting. Um, <laughs> and then there were two, Dude, right? Climb up here. <laughs> he can't reach us up here. <laughs> suck the marrow from your bones. Well, I like the sucking part, but not the marrow part. Well, call the cops, Cody. Okay. Uh, hello, nine one one. You're on your way. Okay, great. Okay, Junior, they're coming. Hey there, somebody call the cops. Uh, oh, hey, you're that food monster thing. Oh, oh hello. We're hiding up there because he eats humans. Oh, hey, freeze! He's trying to eat you. Get on the ground. Bet you told me to freeze. Oh, yeah, I did. Okay, unfreeze. Uh, Freeze! Unfreeze on the ground, freeze! Jesus, I gotta be so specific with people these days. What are you doing to my baby? Oh, I just got this basketball so we can ball together. Isn't that right, LeBron James Conehead? They're trying to kill LeBron James yeah, Conehead. Yeah, trying to eat these kids, so I'm gonna give you two options. I can either shoot him or you can eat him. Oh, my baby boy. Well, I brought you into this world. I guess I have to eat you out. Hey, what? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna need you to rephrase that for me. I'm about to eat him. <laughs> I'm about to eat this booty like groceries. <laughs> Ew. I wish that was me. Bruh. <laughs> wow, I can't believe you ate the whole thing. Yeah, it's never easy eating your first kid, but it does get easier. <laughs> At least that's what my schizophrenic grandma told me before she put me in the microwave. Anyway, now that the threats. <laughs> Yo, that was actually so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Brooklyn guy, man. It's neutralized. I guess I'm going home. I'm just grab one of these skittles. Oh, see ya. Oh, I think I'm gonna throw up. Yeah. Well, Junior, now that that's over, I think it's time we address the elephant in the room. Your mom's here. Your big fat mom's here. No, Junior, the elephant in the room. Like the literal oh, elephant. The live oil isn't a real thing. No, the actual elephant that's in the room. It's right here. It's huge. What, what's it doing here? <gasps> there is a huge elephant in the room. Y you didn't notice the giant elephant? We just climbed it a minute ago. I didn't even notice. I guess I'm just so used to your fat mom being around that I just assumed <laughs> it was your mom. You thought we climbed my mom to get away from a monster? I don't know, Cody. I don't I don't know how the elephant got here. Well, I don't know either. It's not mine. What's well, not mine? Well, maybe it was Joseph's. I don't know. Dang. I don't know what's going on today? I don't know. Okay. Um, okay, listen, this plot was incredibly stupid, and okay, the video definitely got funnier towards the end, so I do have to give it that. Um I mean, it was fine. I think it was a I think the video was tolerable. I think it was okay. Like I don't think it was anything exceptional, and I don't think it was anything garbage. It was just really weird. I'm going to give it like a 7 out of 10. I thought it was fine, okay? For me, a 7 out of 10, you know, it's a fine video. It did its job and, you know, it it did its job and it was decently funny. Um, It's just it was really weird. So, I don't know. Anyway, let me know what you guys thought about this video in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please drop a like, subscribe to the channel as always, and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.